Oh man, what's up everybody? I'm over here at Diamond Back Industries in Crawley, Texas. Checking out my friend Brian Gleason. Bunch of products right there. American made right here, going out. I'm excited because we're gonna show you some awesome process. These guys are doing it big, let's check it out. Boom. Let's go blow some up. We're gonna blow some <laughs> stuff up, man. Let's do it. Oh man. That's the danger. That's the high pressure and the mess. 16,000 PSI being bled out of a tool. My name is Brian Gleason. I am a chief manufacturing officer here at Diamondback Industries. Diamondback was founded in 1999. We are located in Crowley, Texas, which is a small town just on the south end of Fort Worth. We have about 111 acres here where we have all of our manufacturing and our headquarters facility. Diamondback is the market leader in explosives for the oil and gas industry. Our explosives are used in the completions process where when a well is drilled and cased, a plug is sent down into the well, they set the plug Plug, and then to isolate a zone, they will fire explosive charges to frack through the casing, through the concrete, and into the ground before they actually pump the hydraulic fluid and sand into the ground. So our tools are used to set the plug in order for that fracking process to begin. We also build the tools that set the plugs, and so the explosives as well as our igniters work as a team with the tool to ensure that that plug is fully set so that the fracking process can begin and be successful. Beautiful parts. Yeah, so we have basically two different types of tools that we build, a DB10 and a DB20. They're different diameters. What you see right here next to me is eight rows. We have two different product lines. Each one is made from four major components. So the eight rows here are all the stage product for about a day, maybe a day and a half's worth of tool build. Our DB tools is made essentially from four major components. We have a barrel, an upper mandrel, a lower mandrel, and a cap. The mandrel is actually two pieces. And so these thread together like this. Part of this design allows us to offset the cost of raw material purchase as well as machine time per component, but it also gives us some flexibility on design on this lower end. We can made up to different configurations of product at the customer level, depending on what the need is. The mandrel then slides into the barrel. And then there's a retaining cap that holds it all together. All right, that's essentially a fully assembled tool. Now, obviously, there's some O ring seals that would go in there on a normal basis that hold the pressure, but for this, you know, it just wants to demonstrate the, the operation of the tool. This tube is an empty version of our energetic, it's essentially a gas generating explosive that we use to power the tool. So it goes in the back side of this hole here, and then we thread on what's called a firing head and the igniters, which Diamondback also makes. We sell about 30,000 of these a month. The igniter sits in the firing head right about here. Electrical current is sent down through the wire line. The current goes through this spring and ignites the, the explosive powder that we, we put inside the igniter. That sends a fireball into the tool and ignites the power charge. So the energetic that's in the backside of the mandrel, as it's burning for 15 to 30 seconds, it's gonna create the gas pressure. And that gas pressure is gonna come out of these axial portholes between two sets of O-rings, one here and then one sealed on this surface. And as that pressure comes out, the pressure will build and expand and that will cause the tool to stroke and moves just like this. Now, the plugs that are attached to the end of our tool need some level of stroke length in order to set the sealing element and then shear away. Depending on what that is, this tool is designed to handle kind of the entire market availability of the plugs. And as soon as that plug shears away, this tool is designed to bleed. So when the shearing action happens, the mandrel O-rings will pass this bleed port and this tool, all the pressure bleeds through the bleed board down hole and is completely safe to the operators at the surface. So when all of this is pulled back up, this is just a piece of dumb metal that gets thrown in a recycle bin. Our competitors' tools actually come to surface under pressure, 12, 15,000 PSI worth of gas pressure trapped inside. It's really dangerous. Essentially, you're holding a pipe bomb, and until you bleed that pressure on surface, it's a very dangerous scenario. Did you guys see that? That is the competitive tool to our tool. That big cloud of smoke and that pressure release that you just heard was 15,000 PSI 
being bled out of a tool. That's the competition, that's the traditional tool, still the market leader today. Our tool, one of those safety benefits is you know, it bleeds down hole, and so no human has to be near the tool when that occurs. You know what strikes out uh, Texas manufacturing, right? Taking pride in your parts. You guys are protecting them so much, and you were just saying that they get recycled. You use the tool, it goes down, explosions, you recycle it, you get another tool. But before it goes down, you're sending a beautiful quality part that is pristine. It is serialized, it is absolutely perfect. And uh, I just love that attention to detail and quality, even though the end tool is gonna actually get recycled and burned up again. Yeah, it's a good point. We get that question a lot actually, where the tool is gonna be completely destroyed, maybe even unrecognizable by the time it's done doing its job. But for us, it's important that when the customer opens the box, they see the Diamondback logo. They see the Made in USA sticker. And they see a product that looks like care and quality and attention to detail have been put into each and every product. We also don't want issues, right? So when they pulled out of the box, we wanted to thread together right the first time. There's no question in their minds or ours that that thing is ready to do its job. Absolutely, man. It's, it's an incredible sight right here. Trey is engraving the work order and serial number into the tools right now before we assemble. That number help us with traceability, just like in aerospace, just like in medical. We want to make sure that our product is the highest quality in every tool. And so at the customer level, if we were to have an issue, we can go back all the way through the machine shop through assembly and even to the heat lot of the raw material and be able to trace back some issues so we're walking through brian and uh i see all these parts but they look different because you got over here we got a day and a half's worth of work over here but what's going on with these parts right here this is actually a different product line that we have it's known as a pna plug and abandonment plug it's a cast iron self-setting plug its intended purpose is if you have an old well that you just want to cap off and come back to later you send it a few hundred feet down it's seals the well, they pour some concrete on top, and then you can come back to it at another time, but it's perfectly safe and sealed up so that nobody's gonna get hurt. That's awesome. I like how everything's identified, everything's perfect, easy to read. Even like your little flags up there, priority, baby. Super good. I think it's great, like, you know, no sense everybody reinvent the wheel. People can actually look at different processes that you actually put in place and actually learn from it so they can get ahead to actually compete and put food on their own tables. Good thing most of the people, they're in different industries right there so teaching you from Texas but you can use the same processes in your own shop make your own money for your own family super good probably thousands of parts right here and even like shops out there like if you're thinking about how to actually place your parts I just love how you can come over here and you can see they got mesh on every other part protecting all parts everything's lined up and like where they have the threads and the, the key features they actually have plastic or rubber on it, a sleeve, so that they're not touching each other. Pretty cool. Even if it's on pallets, you've got wood separating everything. Uh, documentation is like dialed and uh, everything looks perfect. And dude, you got an amazing facility. Thanks. Congratulations, yeah, man. Appreciate it. Super good. I'm like a little kid now. <laughs> So I see all of this material over here. There's a lot of pounds over here. How much material do you guys actually go through a week, a month, and what type of material? So it's 1045 medium carbon steel primarily, a little bit of 4130, 4340, and we machine about 28 to 30,000 pounds a day of material. Whoo, 30,000 pounds a day. You guys get after it, huh? We definitely work the uh, spindle load meters every day. And then you guys have like 20 to 30 Dusons in these buildings right here? Yeah, we actually have about 42 machines, probably high 30s of those uh, uh, Dusan brand machines. We love them, they work great, our guys love them, and they, they perform every day for us that's awesome and then how much square feet we have about 200,000 about 220,000 square feet total in about seven buildings nice and then employees 120 employees 100 of which are here at our headquarters and probably about 80 to 90 of those are purely in our manufacturing department manufacturing in Texas baby and we're gonna go into the shop now and check out some manufacturing right here in Crawley Texas baby boom so this is one of our barrel cells where we're taking 65 pound billet of 1045 
uh, steel, turning it into a finished machine product. But one of the key features is we are taking a two and a half inch diameter drill, 14 inches deep, and then we have one boring pass afterwards. We love the horsepower of these machines because we do that all day, every day, two shifts a day. So we're going two and a half inch diameter, 14 inches deep in less than two minutes. Yeah. I see you even got some older Doosongs working. Yeah, they're still running. We still run parts on them every day. Nice. What year is that from? This, this is about a 2012 model. Yeah. Nice. So Titan, we have about 40 CNC machine tools here. Most of them are lathes. Go back as far as about 2012. And then we bought seven new machines just this year alone. Nice. We're definitely upgrading our technology, getting mill turn technology. About half of our CNC equipment is more than four inch through bore, which you don't see in many shops. I mean, you guys do a lot of round parts yeah that's why what 80 percent 90 percent absolutely yep it's a sea of blue so you like those new songs huh we, our dn solutions they just changed their name we do like the dn solutions machine tools they're a good combination of value yeah. but also horsepower and rigidity for our application they're perfect yeah. you guys are cutting mild steel yeah. and just a ton of it yeah you're a living testimony right here and it's out in there working right here in texas yeah. oh mm -hmm. We machine all of the different components we use, but depending on the part number, we may do more or less of them. Our barrel pistons, we machine 100%. We're having trouble finding somebody that will make them as quickly and as efficiently as we do, so we focus on these. Our mandrels, we may have a couple of suppliers helping us out, but this works shell, we still make them in-house as well. Man, I love your team. Such good guys. Manufacturing going on right here in Texas. Love it, brother. In the new world where you have a lot of younger workers joining, they really favor from a training standpoint the quick change of our tool versus the rebuilding of the traditional Baker style tools. We like to consider ourselves a leader, a pioneer of newer technologies that are more green, more efficient, and that certainly leave the world and the well sites that we sell our product to a better place as the world changes and expectations are greater on how companies like ours operate and the effects that we have.